solid team of people and a copywriter and a really good script that I think would have every idea we've had has been very good the first concept was a uh, mockumentary obviously about a team of Foley operators guys that make post-production sound effects and they do it all with their mouths you now these guys kick down a door and instead of door breaking it's Fire fight takes place. Dish, dish, dish. Bam. The guy who's doing the sound effects is asking ridiculous questions like, well, how thick is the door? And is it walnut or cherry? Is this door hickory? But he's still just going, <laughs> We started trying to film with a few too many beers, and uh, it was a train wreck. got drunk. I drank my face off and walked out in the middle of shooting. What time was that thing, guys? <laughs> it wasn't even all that late. Oh, no, I was home about, I was home by midnight. Tim left Perfect. last, Tim left last night and I just assumed he was gone forever, so we're yeah. like, eh, we might as well do something. Came back the next morning today. We came up with another pretty sweet idea. Yep. This end up yeah, in the morning, somebody like gave up on the Foley concept and went with a more streamlined approach. I think it was Tim's okay. idea. Basically, I woke up this morning feeling like somebody kicked me in the dick and <laughs> felt bad. So I decided to go back to the office and see if we were actually still doing this stupid thing. Uh, William. Let's see. <clears throat> William, I can. You want to you're, you're just so black. Yeah, just I really can't see you. Just like black, man. <laughs> it's all right. Okay, it's now about 2.33 o'clock, and all of a sudden I hear about, well, we've changed course. So I'm thinking, okay, well, okay, that, that that's all right. That's pretty standard. So we came up with another super ambitious idea. <laughs> because that would solve everything. Your involvement in this. I, I started explaining this before, but then I got cut off. So then I hear that you know the guy stayed up late last night. No, they didn't go nowhere. And then today they had another idea. The idea is like these guys that like are like men in black that like control like accidents. Every time you get a paper cut or get stuck at a red light when you're in a hurry or step in gum. Yeah. It's you know these guys sort of nudging you in that direction. We've been making We've been accidents. Accident uh, scenarios. Yeah. I mean, we which. Were were like really silly things like people stepping on condoms. Did you see the setup? I have, I, well the screens. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, because that was going to be the headquarter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. And uh, I walked in and I was like, fuck, we're in trouble, man. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure Club KK Tricks gets in there. Yeah. Maybe, you know, since I'm a writer, I could like throw some lines in, you know, and I, I had some pretty good ones. It was like, you know, am I playing God? No. In five, four, three, two, one. We don't say two or one. <laughs> Am I playing God? No. Maybe Zeus. Rolling. Am I playing God? <laughs> Playing God? No. 
<laughs> Got 75% of the way through shooting that one. <laughs> and uh, scrapped it. We've moved on yet again. I just got an email from a guy named uh, Dexter Taylor. I'm a very positive person, willing to go with the flow. I live by one mantra, nothing is mundane. All right, so Phil, Phil being interviewed. let's interview Phil. <laughs> I said that I wanted to be a part of the film to do the title sequence. Okay. So how, how, uh, how are they? All three are very good. <laughs> <laughs> From the other angle, another baby runs towards him and jump and like, and he's perfectly fine with it, and he's just like walking with all of them, and then the title comes up, Baby Daddy. There's the baby daddy, and there's the baby running after him. He, <laughs> I raced the baby. It didn't look good. Do you plan on ever doing this again? I'm not sure. Like when I came in, I thought this is this is just proof that we should never <laughs> ever do this again. <laughs> because like I came in and within like two minutes of being there, Phil was literally yelling at <laughs> Tim. Phil. Phil yelled at me. That's you, all there was. You deserved it. Because I didn't want to shoot anything anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Who's here? Why are you wasting everyone's time on this project, Tim Logan? Dude, Why man. are you wasting everyone's time? This thing's kind of bullshit. The whole thing's bullshit? Yeah, everybody knows The whole it. thing's bullshit? Everybody knows it. The whole fucking thing's bullshit? It is kind of. It is your fucking idea, dude, fucking and now it's fucking bullshit. Why don't you fucking go home? Fuck. Yeah, somebody was like, they were like, what's this 48 hour film fest? And I'm like, ah, oh, whatever, a bunch of guys get together for the weekend, come up with an idea for a movie, end up hating each other by Monday. That's <laughs> pretty much how it goes. So I don't know if this actually technically qualifies as a documentary anymore, because it's really like it's a documentary. an actual documentary <laughs> of our 24 hour failure. We'll put together in the second 24 hours. Don't waste your life on 48 hour film festivals. Life is too short for 48 hour film festivals. Am I playing God? <laughs> no. Maybe Zeus. That was perfect. If you could do another one and I won't laugh like an asshole. <laughs>